Hello everybody. So it's been about a couple weeks since I made my quote unquote shit box video. And man, I tell you, I've never seen so many comments in such a short period of time on any one of my videos. So obviously it struck a chord. Uh, some people, uh, you know, they just told me, just keep enjoying it, don't worry about it. Somebody called, you know, dealership, um, you know, not so honest and so and so. Well, you know, here's the bottom line. I believe that there's variety of things that are wrong with this town car. I mean, every 15 year old vehicle that's been driven and stored outside, which looks like it, it has been, not really been taken care of, you know, has its issues. But the bottom line is it starts every morning. It gets me to work, it gets me back. And as of right now, I am not planning on spending any more money on it. And then the little AC issue that I had, I'm just gonna live with it for the time being. Um, it's not that big of a deal. Now this wind on the other side is a pretty big deal because you probably guys can't see this. And I'm filming this with my cell phone because I don't want to like set up the whole tripod and stuff. But anyway, um, that's the bottom line. I'll be posting some updates. And what I'm going to be working on today is this. This nice little pink addition to the town car. And I, I mentioned it in a few of my videos just, you know, glancing over. You know, we... We are expecting our, our second child, and you can guess by the color what gender. So I will be installing that in this town car. Now, this kind of talks also about um, the fact that I'm not too worried about the safety, you know, of my kids or uh, my own safety in this car for that matter, simply because, look, it drives, it starts. It doesn't really rattle. It has very comfy ride. And, you know, yes, it might be leaking something. I'm, I'm still not sure where it's leaking and, and where is it leaking out of, except for that main seal. But it's not leaking on the ground. I mean, I've been checking. So the bottom line is I'm not too concerned. Uh, I do understand that this car is not going to last me forever. I don't think that's the original intent. So what I'm going to be doing is getting the second child seat installed in this oh god how comfortable this seat is just 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 look ah this seat this beautiful beautiful how soft and comfy you are okay my knee you don't want to look at my knee i mean look say all you want about town cars old outdated grandpa grandma uncle whatever aunt but man, I tell you, these things are unbefreaking weevil. And I just realized that I forgot to bring out some, some towels, you know. So my, my kid has been riding. As you can see, I do have towels there and there so the seat doesn't get puncture. This seat was on this side originally, but now that he's uh, going to kindergarten, uh, we have to let him out on that side, on the curbside kind of deal. So because the way that the school was built. So I moved it. So now this seat is going to be occupied by another pretty, pretty ginormous car seat. This is one of those all in one, one deal. So hopefully, you know, it's like from five pounds to a hundred pounds. Uh, and you can convert it 80 different ways. And then it's got the, you know, the inserts. And then as the kid grows, you pull the, one of the inserts out. And then I think the other one out, and then you can switch it from front to, to back. And I mean, from, <laughs> from front to back, from back to front. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be installing it in here. This is not a how-to tutorial, how to install child seats. I'm sure you guys know that. I know on some occasions, if parents are unable to do it, you can take it, like you can drive up to like a fire department. I've heard of some people doing that. But I've been in the car rental industry for about seven years. It's been a while since I've been doing this. But yeah, I mean, installing a child seat is not a, uh, you know, too difficult of a proposal. So I'm going to be doing that. And then we'll see how it all turns out. All right, about 40 minutes later, and about 100 cuss words later, I think we got it in here. So this being, you know, the convertible whatever seat it can transform into Optimus Prime, whatever. You know, we starting us off with the rear facing all the way reclined backwards, which that's what that means. Uh, so here you go. For children who cannot sit up unassisted, the rear-facing level line must be in parallel with the ground. Yeah, so 
it is kind of parallel. So there's a bit of an angle because the seat is so cushy. And <laughs> it's kind of hard to get to. But anyway, uh, the rear facing one. So you got the latch system right here. And then you got the seat belt, which actually feeds through the same hole. And I tell you, you know, I've never designed a car seat before or a car for that matter. But why does this space, the one that it feeds through, why does it have to be so tiny and, you know, lined with like really sharp plastic? Because you have to, you have to like feed through it which means sticking your hand in there and obviously you know well you guys probably can't see it in the sun but i scraped the hell out of my hand simply because it's like jagged teeth in there with all the sharp pointy plastic that you have to feed it through now once you feed it through obviously it's no problem it winds up on this side well i don't know if you guys can see that but basically it buckles itself in and everything is good now also speaking on the whole sharp jaded plastic I understand this is all about the child safety, right? But do we really need to make a seat that will absolutely destroy the leather seats in a car if it's not lined with towels? So obviously you can see the bottom of it, I lined with a couple towels. So, you know, the seat doesn't get destroyed because you have to kind of push down on it as you're pulling to tighten everything so it doesn't really wobble too much. I mean, this thing is as tight as I could possibly get it right now. You know, putting my swim, 220 plus pounds on this thing to tighten it all up but then another really sharp jagged, jagged plastic is right up there so it's pushing up up against here and there and that's what i kind of mean is that i understand kids safety comes first i get it i agree with it but it doesn't cost them a whole lot more to make these things round them off make make it like this right like if this was this area was pushing up against the weather that wouldn't have made you know any any damage to it but making this thing really sharp and nasty you know on a cloth seats it can do some damage but on the weather like this forget about it you know absolutely tore tear this thing apart so this is where i lined up additional two more towels to protect it and you know same thing can be said about this thing you know this is at this point our older one is old enough to be riding in this booster thing but yeah once again the bottom of it is sharp plastic these things in the back are like you know have to be put up against the towel so anyway i don't i don't get it but i tell you what my my last theory of the day is i understand well i really don't but i'm trying to understand the whole allure the whole allure of sport you know sport bucket seats sporty this sporty that everything's got to be sporty fine everybody wants to attract younger younger customers right awesome fine be that way why do the back seats need to be sporty too like these this the, these town cars right just town cars in general they have the most comfortable rear seats in the world i'm telling you if you don't own a town car trust me you, you you just ride in the back of one and you'll see it and these are standard you know they're base seats you know everybody wants to be sporty these days why wouldn't they make the rear seats normal like lounge style like uh you know comfy because i'm telling you the leather is beautiful on these things the i know i'm kind of keep walking back and forth these are so nice and plush and inviting and it I just don't get it you know so anyway here's my my two cents about the child seats if you don't if you're not parents yet whoever's watching me you'll remember the whole sharp plastic all over the place things and and everything that i'm saying and then obviously as a child hopefully grows and she grows up to be healthy and all that you know it'll have to be tilted a little bit which means i'm gonna have to undo all this like unlatch it a little bit tilt it more upwards and then then redo it so but hey if you're gonna have a kid the back seat of a lincoln town car is is on a sedan side is probably the most comfy uh our other car i mean it's fine but i tell you it's not as much space in there that it is in here all right everybody we'll see you next time